Hey everyone, welcome back. So, let me see if I can try and take a moment here to try and remember the things I have done on this character uh, since the last part to perhaps make going through the rest of the campaign a little easier. Um, I've gotten this guy now up to 181. So, uh, since the last part when I got that upgrade, I noticed that I was not too far off from being able to get to a certain level so I could be able to do certain things. Uh, not necessarily the going into a heroic dungeon because we I had already been able to do that, but being able to queue for LFR. Now, gearing-wise, that's actually kind of important, plus it's also important in terms of collecting stuff because as many of you know at this point, collecting legendary recipes is a guaranteed drop when you kill that raid boss for the first time regardless of the difficulty. So, I did a full clear of LFR on this guy. Um, the Denathrius fight, oh gosh, we wiped on that a few times and that got bad. Um, that was uh, not very pleasant. Then, so we I did all that and it's now a new week. Um, so I picked up some other things. I also used some world quests to get some other stuff. Also, I got um, upgrades for the Covenant up and running. Um, so, I actually got a token from that LFR raid, which someone was nice enough to, well, I won the roll. They put up for roll, and I actually won the roll. So, I got a upgraded weapon here. So, yeah. I also got a couple of other pieces, and I got something from the vault, which, of course, also got me um, uh, the other recipe from getting a reward from the Great Vault. So... Going forward, we should hopefully have an easier time in this campaign now that I've got a little bit better gear. But, of course, we're not quite done yet. Also, this next uh, step in the campaign should unlock the angelic wings that I have been dying to get. So, prepare to uh, see me running around with some angelic wings. I also decided to go ahead and try and see if I could uh, start putting on the pieces from the set uh, that we're earning as we go through here. Hold on a second. Let me see what it looks like without I the, have uh, many lucky dudes oh, you stop. like. Browse. Smell. I mean, I'm still wearing the uh, chess piece from uh, Antorus. Mainly because I believe I don't have that yet. Hello, friend of the Grummels. So the only two pieces we don't have yet are the chest piece and the boots. That's why I am using the, still the pieces from Antorus. Um, I, of course, have these cloaks, but, of course, the, the wings are the goal here. So... You wish to be of service? Palanix, we need only one more piece to complete the Crest of Ascension. Eons ago, our crest was originally crafted with the assistance of the Fae. Deep within Ardenweald lies a portal they maintain to fairy souls back to their worlds. It is a source of great power, and the final key to rebuilding the crest. Seek out the Winter Queen in Win Ardenweald, and plead our case. We've already sent Pelagos ahead as an, our envoy to arrange for your meeting. Proceed. Pelagos is in Ardenweald, requesting an audience with the Queen. Meet him there. Peace be upon you. Okay, so we'll just go to the oh, refugee service. camp. As it must be. I also was able to uh, do a couple of clears of Torghast on certain wings since, of course, certain recipes drop there. And um, so at the moment, I've got 1300 Soul Ash. If I wanted to, I could make another one. And there's, of course, one other legendary for the Paladin I do want to make, at least for Rhett. Um, and it's this one right here, which I was able to get. Final Verdict. Um, 
I believe this... Oh, that's because it drops from... I mentioned this was a new week. New world boss. And the world boss that's here in Bastion, Valinor, that drops this legendary, which is also a guaranteed drop. Now, according to sites like Bloodmount, for example, while Tempest of the Lightbringer is the one that I have been using is the best for AoE damage, Final Verdict here is the one that's considered the best for single target damage. So it's really meant for you to bring if you're going to be taking on um, bosses. Now, of course, the um, Sun King fight is different since that does uh, encourage a lot of AoE damage for that fight. But other you know, single target bosses, this is your ideal choice if you're going to play Ret. Replaces your Templar's Verdict, which is this right here. It unleashes a powerful weapon strike that deals 2400 holy damage to an enemy target. This, replace it with Final Verdict, which is a devastating strike that deals 2800 holy damage, and it has a 15% chance to activate Hammer of Wrath and reset its cooldown. You can make this as either a back piece or a chest piece. Now, I would recommend going with the chest piece because they're a little harder to get than back pieces. Plus, um, you can get more stats on a chest piece than you can on a back piece. At least, I believe that's how that works. So, like, for comparison here, uh, I have a back piece here that gives me, um, 32 strength, 51 ammo, whereas the chest piece gives me 57 strength and 91 anima, or stamina. That gives me 33 armor. This gives me 180 armor. So, I'm looking at comparing these two. This one gave me strike and versatility. This gave me strike mastery and avoidance, which is really good for this expansion because of the amount of AoE damage that we've been having to deal with, and the avoidance really helps with that. If you're Curious how I know that, even says down here, reduces damage taken from area of effect attacks. You can actually be able to further enhance this with enchantments that you can be able to pick up uh, from the au auction house, for example. There are some other ones I collected here um, for all the specs. Um, as you can see here, been collecting uh, quite a few of these, including for Holy and Prot as well. Um, this one I found interesting. Um, when you reach 5 Holy Power, you gain Blessing of Dawn. When you reach 0 Holy Power, you gain Blessing of Dusk. Blessing of Dawn is your damage and healing is increased by 6% for 12 seconds. Dusk is your damage taken re is reduced by 4% for 12 seconds. Not the most amazing of things, but it's interesting that you go back and forth between those based on how much Holy Power you have. These are the only ones I don't have uh, yet, which is this one drops from... Um, is a dungeon drop. This is from the PvP vendor. This is another dungeon drop. Dungeon drop. And Torghast drop. That's guaranteed. The dungeon drops, though, are going to be the, you know, the ones that I'm going to have to hope for RNG. So, we'll see how that goes. And as I mentioned, it's a little easier to be able to collect rewards from the Great Vault when you don't have to if you're not able to do a Mythic Plus and be able to participate in that, that's why it's like, okay, well, at least I can be able to do this and have a shot at three different rewards because even doing LFR counts for this, which I think is great for if you're trying to work on gearing alts and you're just simply trying to use LFR to help gear your alt. And of course, LFR is the easiest difficulty for those raids. Um, it's... Obviously, some people have issues with it, but I think it's a nice uh, system in place to help with alts. But that's that's just me. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people that disagree on that. I feel like I was just here on my druid. Oh, wait, I was. Who awaits you in the chamber? I will take you there. Hail, mortal. You must be the one that the Bastion Envoy mentioned. Yes, I am here for an audience with the Winter Queen. Please take me to her. For Queen. A look inside the Night Fay Covenant. If you want to see more of this, head on over to my playlist where I do the Night Fay Covenant on my Druid. 
I see our guest has arrived. Your Majesty? I love the Blood Elf bow. He's just like, yes. It is good to see you. It's good to see you. The court has been assembled, and in just a moment, the Queen will decide on our request. Let's hear what the Queen has to say. Happy to help. Bastion has ever been a faithful ally. Speak, child of the Archon. Your Grace, the Crest of Ascension has been destroyed. We request the aid of Ardenweald's magic to forge a new one. Our groves teem with the magic you seek, but only a vessel of Ardenweald can contain such power, and they are precious to us. My queen, I will help the Kyrian prepare a vessel. Such a vow must not be made lightly, Willow Blossom. Souls cannot enter the Shadowlands without the Ascended. I understand what is asked of me, and I swear to see it through. Then your pledge is made. Prepare the vessel for the ritual. Looks like we're gonna be fast friends. Race you downstairs. Bastion thanks you, your grace. Yes. Thank you, once again. The forest provides. How nice of Willow Blossom to step right up and volunteer that. Over here! What shall we do today? We have lots of work ahead of us. We cannot conduct the ritual without a very special guest. He's a silk strider larva named Grubby, and he's my best friend. Unfortunately, the nasty Spriggans took him. What's worse is they cast illusions on what they steal, so no one can take it back. The Spriggans often carry trickster powder. If you can take some of that stuff, I can reverse their illusions and rescue Grubby. Another time, then. I will collect the seed for the ritual. Meet me once you have found Grubby. Right. Willow Blossom wonders if she gave Pelagos the right information and then shrugs. Oh no. It's too far away. That powder will let us see through their illusions. On the note are the scribblings for a plan to steal silk strider larvae and cook them. It is signed by someone named Trinkle. Well, we can't have that. That powder will let us see through their illusions. Hmm. Let's try another. <laughs> Whoops, I did not mean to pull that many. I keep hitting these Arden Moths. I don't mean to. They just keep getting close. That 
Okay. Hey, we'll let us see through their illusions. No grubby, huh? Maybe he's in this one. No, Grubby. Don't worry, Grubby. We'll find you. Before they eat you. Let's get rid of this. Where is he? Maybe he's in this one. We found him! Grubby, you shouldn't run off like that! Okay, will you guys quit it? Hi, friend! We found him! See you soon! All right, now let's go after this guy. Trinkle, the Silk Eater. None for you! I need to get closer. Anyone think of the poor little silkworms? <laughs> My num nums. I can't carry any more of those. Oh, that. Time for friends. Nasty Spriggan. The next thing we need to prepare the best prepare the vessel is a set of night elves veil flowers. We'll use these flowers in our ceremonies, but since the drought we've just used them as props in our plays. There are certainly some pa backstage at the Star at the Star Lake Amphitheater. I bet Moonberry is there for the rehearsal of their next play. As a bonus, this will work out quite nicely for me to get revenge on her. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. I'm guessing Moonberry got her with a prank at some point and has been trying to think of a way to get back at her for some time. Considering what we know about Moonberry's tendency to enjoy pranking, I'm not surprised by this in the least. In fact, I wonder how many else in Ardenweald have been wanting to get a little bit of, well, payback towards Moonberry. In the middle of rehearsal. Ooh, I know. Let's disguise ourselves with some leftover check powder. Ooh. Hey, <clears throat> you with the tree. Get to your mark. <laughs> I'm a tree. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I love that she's even using the right uh, terminology. Mark. Stage hands. Mm hmm. They are all detectors. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not right. Move the tree to the other side. Sorry. Sorry. Perfect. 
Okay, everyone take a break. Now's our chance. Head backstage. I'm surprised Moonberry is not questioning Willow Blossom being here. But maybe just seeing her is like, eh, okay, she's here, whatever. Okay. Let's play a little prank on Moonberry. It's only fair she gets pranked sometimes, too. Her dressing room is across from here. I mean, I'm okay with that as long as it doesn't go too far. That's the thing with me and pranks in general. It's like, okay, fun little, you know, hee hee kind of jokes and pranks, that's fine. Pranks that really go too far and really just go over the line, yeah, just, yeah, I've seen that happen. It's bad not pretty you find moonberry's soap resting on the table okay red petals purple petals or green petals huh let's go with purple it's time for the burning of teldrassil scene where is the tree uh, we better go. Uh, are they actually doing that? That's funny. Hi, friend. Do you have the flowers? I have the wreath. Mission accomplished. This will be so funny. Ha, ah, sweet revenge. Pelago should have the seed by now. I can't start the ritual without the seed. He's likely still at Claw's Edge. We'll see you there. Another time, then. Willow Blossom indicates that she and Grubby will fly ahead and meet you at Claw's Edge. I love that we're still just bringing Grubby with us. Okay. I run by Moonberry. She's like, hey, what are you doing here? Don't mind me, Moonberry. Just passing through. Well, I imagine if I had waited until 9.1 came out and unlocked flying, we could just fly over there. Quite an idea, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder how many people that hate flying being in this game get triggered by hearing someone say that. <laughs> Like, I know the whole hatred towards flying thing from some players is, like, a legit thing for them. It's just not something that I personally agree with, or... Like... I've heard some arguments that could be kind of legit, but... It really kind of fits within their own preferences as to why... And the, the more I think about it, the more I start to come to the realization that there really is no right answer here. Like, what the right answer is, that's different than what, I don't know. To me, removing that option would be a horrible thing to do. But people think that option should be taken away. I can't bring myself to agree with that in the slightest. Because you could just simply not do it. You could just simply... Look, I'm using a flying mount. I don't have to, though. I could use this ground mount. Now I can't fly. Even if I have flying unlocked here, now I wouldn't be able to fly because I'm choosing to use a ground mount. It's just that simple for me. Now, people argue it has to do with the social aspect. I mean, there's a time and place for that, you know. It's like the people who argue about the immersion thing. I'm sorry, but... 
there are way too many ways for the whole immersion and experience thing to get broken in this game. Especially by other players. So, like I said, time and place, and you'd have to try and figure out how to do it in your own way. But anyways. I'm looking forward to being able so to fly in these zones. These That's it, all I'm right saying. Seats, then? Ugh. You must have said blue seed with red leaves. She nods. Do you need a training partner? Whoops, wrong seeds. I hope we can still find a use for these. There is a long road ahead. What shall we do today? These red seeds will still prove useful. They come from a very dangerous plant and are quite unstable if we're going to recover the blue seed that we really need. Then these might help. Let's clear out some of these gorm and search for the real seed. I always have time for friends. Oh no! This place is littered with mites! They are cute like grubby, but they grow into horrible gorm. If we cleared some of them out, then the Silvari will have less to fight against later. They can burrow away, so it's best to burn them up with Pelagos' red seeds. They'll be good for something after all. And then we will get the boots for the set. See you soon. So these are flame lash seeds that do heavy fire damage. Well, those pack a punch. Let's throw more. <clears throat> This almost feels a little bad. <laughs> Oof. Do damage against the big ones too. I need a charge. Just gave me an extra big fire attack. Boom. Just murdering a bunch of little mites. What shall we do today? It'll be hard for them to return. Goodbye, friend. Right. We have the war boots for the set. The chess piece is all that remains. And it's just funny that, yep, it's not an upgrade. For now, anyway. Though I really shouldn't use my, uh, anima to upgrade those. It reaches a point where there really is no reason. Plus, I believe they can only go up to 197. It's too far away. And of course, it'll be possible to get stuff higher than that. You know, 200. So, not the best of ideas to use up your anima upgrading the Covenant set. I need to get close. Especially when you're going to be using anima on so many other things. Hi, 
friend. These seeds aren't just useful, they're dangerous. Another time then. Have you read anything interesting lately? I remember seeing a blue seed with red leaves nearby, but it was in a cave behind a pool of brambles. I didn't think of it at the time, but maybe you could use the red seeds to get us in. I wish I didn't mix up the instructions or we wouldn't be in this mess. But maybe it's all going to work out anyway. Let's go. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. He's so eager to just help. He's like, I just want to help. Behind all that overflow, you need to get in there. Use the seeds to clear a path. There it is. I always have time for friends. This has been quite the fun adventure, wouldn't you say? The seed! See you soon! I think we have a problem. Plucking the seed from this root must have shaken some burrowed gorm awake. This isn't good. Grab onto me! I'll fly us out of here! But we must stop the gorm before they overrun the local Vorkai defenses. Goodbye, friend. See you soon! Look at all the gorm! We've got to stop them before they overrun the forest! We can use some of the seeds to stop them! Oh, that's a big one right there. Woo! We have wiped out so many Gorm here in Ardenweald. That should do it. The Wild Hunt will handle the remaining Gorm. Oh no! We're late for the ritual! Willow is strong. She is just picking us, both of us up, like we're nothing. See you at the Grove! Alright, I'll see you there. The Grove of Awakening. Lady Moonberry, I would never play such a prank on you. <clears throat> a thorn in my side until the last. I wouldn't have it any other way. Aww. So that's why we got to choose, because she showed up as purple. <laughs> she could have shown up as either red or green. That's funny. See, that's kind of cute. At least Moonberry took it well. Greetings, my friend. Okay, I think everything is finally ready. Together, we can achieve anything. This is quite a ceremony. Everyone is here. This ritual is essential to the recreation of the Crest of Ascension and the preservation of Bastion. We owe the Winter Queen and Willow Blossom a great debt. Someday I hope we can repay them. If at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. Grubby, I'm so glad I got to see you before I go. Goodbye, my sweet little friend. Before you go? What do you mean? Only a vessel of Arden Wheel can contain the power of the Grove. Willow, you? You are the vessel? No! There must be another way! Don't be sad for me, Pelagos. I've spent my whole life serving the Force. This is my chance to help all of the Shadowlands. My final night was wonderful. I'm so happy you were here to share it with me. I am ready, my queen. Willow. Thank you. Bastion will never forget what you have given us. I will make certain of it.
I didn't know that was going to happen. I did not even pick up in the slightest that Willow was about to do that. My final night was wonderful. I'm so happy you were here to share it with me. Oh, that almost got me there once I realized what was happening. I, you know, I was thinking to myself, it's funny I haven't heard about Willow up in the story up until this point. Now I know why. Oh, gosh. That kind of got to me. Willow became a vessel. That's why Moonberry said, A thorn in my side until the last. I wouldn't have it any other way. Because she knew what was about to happen. Wow. And that's why Willow wanted to do one more prank, because she knew it was the last one that she would get to do on Moonberry. One last prank. Gosh, I'm now thinking back on it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. I was not ready for that. I did not know that was coming. Oh, my goodness. Share your words of wisdom. Do you have the vessel? She's... She's gone. I believe in you. I... I don't know what to say. All that's left is to return Willow... The vessel... To pull March Adrestus in Bastion. This sacrifice must not be in vain. You go on ahead. I just... Need a moment. Note that he has Grubby just sitting on his shoulder there. And he's not even bothered in the slightest. And clearly Grubby likes Pelagos now. Looks like no one here has anything to say. Note that Ysera was also here to help with that. So clearly Ysera had uh, been brought up to speed on what was going on and was okay with it because, well, Willow was okay with it. That's why at the beginning when Willow stepped up and volunteered, the Winter Queen made a point to her to let her know that this is not something you can take lightly. Are you sure this is something you want to do? And Willow was okay with that. Wow. What troubles you? You have brought the vessel we require for the completion of the Crest of Ascension. I understand that it came at a great cost. We must endeavor to repay our friends in Ardenweald one day. With this greatest of gifts from Ardenweald, we have the final piece to rebuild the Crest of Ascension. Let us make certain that Willow Blossom's sacrifice is not in vain. Thank you. 
I am humbled to learn of Ardenweald's noble sacrifice on our behalf. Come, let us meet Pelagos at the crest. Place the vessel here. Thank you, Willow Blossom. Willow Blossom's essence will suffuse the crest, completing it so Bastion can once more invest new Ascended. I am comforted knowing that Willow Blossom lives on and will be part of every new Ascended. I am the Archon's will. With the final empowerment in place, our renewed Crest of Ascension stands bolstered by the might of not just Bastion, but all Covenants. Soon, new Ascended will grace these halls once more as aspirants finish their long-awaited trials. None of this would be possible without your aid, Marwalker. The honor of activating the crest at last is yours. So we will get a new mount, another phalanx. We get Grubby as a pet. Aww. We get the wings, and we get more renown. You have both done a great service to our people. Now we must seal our reborn crest's power to safeguard it from future assault. When Devos shattered the crest, she sought to shatter the bonds between us. With the Maul Walker's aid, we have persevered. Our reforged crest stands stronger than ever before. We can once again ascend our ready aspirants and reclaim our realm from the Forsworn. Glory to the Archon! Glory to Bastion! Oh. And the Paragons showed up. I'd miss that. <laughs> Sorry. You have questions. With the crest complete at last, we must next turn our eyes back to the Forsworn. You notice Grubby is looking at you expectantly. Oh, because Grubby's still here. I have increased patrols as requested, Polymark. Forsworn activity has increased of late. Oh, Polymark, excuse me. This successor, Lysonia, poses a grave threat. I will send our bearers to learn of her plans at once. Thank you. None of this would be possible without you, my friend. Thanks, Pelagos. Grubby. He's my new friend. I finally have my angelic wings. And a new mount. So, if you're wondering what's the difference. Well, this is that one. Oh. So, notice this right here. You can kind of see the differences here. See, there's a bit more of an effect there. More of these here on the side. It's slight differences, but it's still differences. 
Okay. But of course. I have many, many wares. Oh, I have just the thing, Wanderer. Good fortune to all there friends of the Grummels. Punches, punches, lucky do's and root. Alright, hold on. Let's put those on. <laughs> Beware of getting. Well, we always want to be able to just have consistent angelic wings as either a paladin or a priest. We finally have them. It's not quite as awesome as, you know, these. But I'll take what I can get. So, anyways... So we will continue the campaign as we pursue Lysonia and the Forsworn, and perhaps, hopefully, save Uther. Right, Grubby? Who's your good Grubby? Who's your good Grubby? Stay tuned. And thank you once again, Willow Blossom. <laughs>